Howdy fellow knife people. How you guys doing? Do a little review today over the paramilitary, right? So, guys, there's so many reviews <clears throat> over this knife. It's got to be one of the most uh, heavily reviewed knives on the YouTube um, and on any of the forums as well. Um, heavily talked about. Um, took me a long time to buy one of these just because, you know, I'm such a big fan of the military by Spider Co. And this one just doesn't seem so pretty in the pictures, you know. Basically, you know, how this tang sticks out, that just really kind of bothered me. I didn't think that would be something that I would like <clears throat> very much. But I'm happy to say it is fantastic. This knife is, is absolutely excellent. Um, it's kind of even, you know, I, I uh, did some traveling, as some of you guys might know. I was gone for four or five months. So I sold off all of my expensive knives to help aid with that. And I uh, <clears throat> only have a few right now. As a matter of fact, this pair of See. Yeah, this would be the most expensive knife that I have right now, which, you know, whatever, that is what it is. But anyhow, I was dying to get another SNG. I was like, man, when I get back to Colorado, first thing I'm going to do is get another SNG. But got a pretty good deal on this, so I decided, you know, I like the paramilitary, I mean, the regular military so much, and a lot of people say this is their favorite Spider Co. So. <clears throat> like David Lowry, my buddy, uh, he's, you know, told me, you gotta try it out, you gotta try it out, you gotta try it out. So I thought, okay, I'll do it. And snagged a hell of a deal on this black um, bladed one, which is the only reason why I got the black blade. Only I just like the regular, you know, satin finish. So, but anyhow, I'm really pl pleased with this knife. Um, I would say somehow equally pleased as I am with the military. You know? Just all things considered, um, it's just a really, really great uh, piece of work here. You know, um, in the hand, just uh, the action that it has. A lot of the things, just that the, the paramilitary. Gosh, I keep saying that. That the military has. You know, obviously go into the paramilitary, you know, that's just what it kind of is the basis for the design. If you like the military, but for whatever reason, um, want something with a smaller blade or a smaller knife, here you go. All right, <clears throat> my roommates and their nine dogs are back. <laughs> so, yeah, and I'm here to say that is true. You will like this, um, you know, even all things considered, the, the few things that set it aside, you know, other than uh, it being smaller. <clears throat> I really thought that I would not be happy with the compression lock. I was all set to be like, don't like it, and trade it off for something else. But it doesn't bother me at all, you know? Um, Uh-oh. I think I might sneeze. That's the kind of reality we deal with here on the uh, I Am Boognish channel. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? Oh, compression lock. Yes, I do not mind the compression lock. I mean, I don't think it's ideal for two reasons, and it has nothing to do with its function, all right? One is, if they put a regular liner lock in this knife, they would be able to put the blade farther into the handle. All right, and then you wouldn't have this tank sticking up, which I still would prefer. Um, two, the clip on this is set way much further down, <clears throat> somewhere near an eighth of an inch farther down than than the military is. So you got quite a quite a bit of this knife sticking out of your pocket. Again, nitpicky doesn't particularly bother me. Um, and like I said, I really thought this tang would bother me. It doesn't. So those are just nitpicky things that would be a ideal preference, if you if you will. But 
not a big deal just because this knife uh, in all other ways is fantastic. The compression lock is a piece of cake to operate, you know? You just <laughs> do like that, okay? So that's kind of what I do. I just open it like so, close it like so, all right? Push with my index finger on the compression lock. So I've tightened this down a little bit. Um, people talk about, oh, how smooth and, you know, whatever the <clears throat> paramilitary is, and I'm not a big fan of that. I don't really, I don't need a knife to open by itself, or, you know, have that kind of smoothness. So I've tightened down <clears throat> on the pivot a little bit, and on this, uh, these two screws that hold the stop bar in place, okay? So that's kind of the action that I want and I like on it. <clears throat> so if I push on the compression lock and move it like this, it's not going to come open. And it's not like that's what I'm going for, but I'm just going for a nice, uh, nice resistance. You know, that's what I like. So that way if I have this in the waistband or whatever, <clears throat> it's far less likely to come open. I will say, even the way it came, which was, was really smooth and loose, um, the edge retention is great on this. You know, I've heard complaints, but um, I'm a big stickler as much as a stickler as I know, and I'd say the, I say edge retention? Anyway, I meant closed blade retention. That means resistance against opening, all right? So it's good, um, but I like it a little bit better, right? So you see like people on the other reviews just kind of push this compression lock and it just closes. And mine, I mean, I really have to significantly move it in order to even get close to that. So, but I don't care. That's not how I roll. I just want to open it <clears throat> like that. I want to close it like that. That's all I need, all I want. And sometimes I'll do the spidey drop, you know, <clears throat> just for shits and giggles. So, uh, other things uh, I can say about this knife, dual nested liners, of course. Um, nice and rigid, okay? Um, obviously, you hear people comment on Spider Coast G10, first rate, you know, absolutely perfect. Um, fit, finish, all those things, tolerances, ideal on this knife, all right? You couldn't ask for better. You just couldn't. Uh, and uh, so that's, that's what I have to say about that. The black coating on the blade is, is good. You know, I, um, this diamond-like coating is phenomenal. Um, I've definitely had bench maids with it that I've used a lot more than this. I've only had this for about a week. And it's really resistant to scratching and stuff like that. Now, I was cutting some, uh, I work at a rafting company, and I was cutting some zip ties the other day um, that people were using to temporarily hold like some lattice stuff against the table. And I did scrape it. I'm sure you can't see it. Oh, you can't see it. See that scrape there? That happened. And whatever. I couldn't care less. I bought this knife to use, not to put on a shelf somewhere. But, and I, you know, I assume that would be inherent with the black finish anyway. So, not a big deal. One of my favorite things, of course, about Spyderco knives is this option and that is Golden Colorado USA Earth. That's where I like to keep my money. So that's uh, fantastic. What was I going to say? Oh yeah. One of the things about Spydercos is they they really like the cr a crisp finish on their knives and every one I've ever bought I've taken the soft stone from my sharp maker and kind of smoothed off this edge on you know on the spine and around the holes it's just really really it's not sharp necessarily but just overly crisp and I'm kind of bummed about the black finish because I can't do that with this one um, so I really would like to take the edge off of that a little bit and inside the hole I don't need it to be as just as crisp or almost not I don't, I don't want to say sharp it's not unfinished but Man, it's a zoo in there. Oh God, please kill each other. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah. Anyhow, I like everything about the knife. I'm out of time. Palabra tu madre. Thanks for watching. <laughs>